bees are crucial for agriculture, food production and the economy. So what's the buzz about bees? Bees visit flowers to drink nectar and collect pollen, bringing back to feed to the baby bees. As a bee gathers pollen, it also moves pollen from flower to flower, kick-starting the production of seeds and new plants. This is pollination. And we need bees to pollinate lots of our fruits and vegetables, wildflowers and flowering trees. In Ireland, we have one species of honeybee, 21 bumblebee species and 77 solitary bees. Contrary to popular belief, it's actually our wild bees, bumblebees and solitary bees, who are responsible for most pollination. The honeybee usually lives in a hive managed by humans. There could be thousands of honeybees in one hive. Our 21 Irish bumblebees come in many different colours and sizes. When the queen bumblebee emerges from hibernation in spring, she first has to feed before she finds a nest site. She must visit thousands of flowers a day just to gather enough energy to brood her first batch of eggs. That's a lot of work. A queen bumblebee usually makes its nest in long grass or sometimes in old abandoned mouse burrows. A bumblebee colony is much smaller than a honeybee's, with anything from about 40 to 250 bumblebees in a nest. The female workers collect all the pollen for the colony, so they need lots of wildflowers to feed on. Only the newly mated bumblebee queen survive the winter by burrowing into north-facing banks to hibernate. As the name suggests, solitary bees do not live in social communities, like bumblebees or honeybees. In Ireland, there are 77 different types of solitary bees. 62 of them are mining bees that dig out their nests in bare ground in south or east-facing banks. 15 of them are cavity nesters that live in existing cavities in south-facing wood or stone. After mating, the female then finds a suitable nest to lay her eggs. In each chamber, she leaves a pollen loaf for the larva to eat when it hatches out. When she's laid about 20 eggs, she seals the nest and leaves. Only the larvae of the solitary bees survive over the winter. And when they emerge, they go their separate ways. Pollination is crucial for food production and for our wild flowering plants. But unfortunately in Ireland, our bee species have undergone substantial declines since the 1980s. We've already lost two bee species through extinction and one third of our 98 wild bee species are now in serious risk. But the All-Ireland Pollinator Plan is here to help reverse these declines. This plan identified 81 evidence-based actions across public and private land that will create an Ireland where pollinators can survive and thrive. The aim is to create a network of pollinator-friendly habitats to bring back that food and shelter that is now missing from the landscape. If we want to help our bees help us produce crops, there are a few simple things that we can do to make Ireland more pollinator-friendly. In short, bees need pollen-rich flowers in bloom from early spring right through to late autumn. We've produced a series of guidelines explaining how you can help. There are also lots of resources and tips on our website, as well as how-to guides to help you get busy and do your part.